Today we're going to demonstrate how to do a vehicle inspection on a vehicle with air brakes. Now we're going to perform the underhood inspection with the engine not running. You want to check your fluids on the driver's side, you can check your power steering fluid, you can check your windshield washer, you can check your oil, get some back here, you can check your turbo boots, make sure your rubber boots aren't cracked, warm, frayed up. Check your filters, make sure there's no excessive oil leaking, any leaks up here. Also, you want to listen, see if you can hear any air noises, any air leaks, anything abnormal. And when you go to the other side, you can check your coolant, check your radiator lines, make sure all your radiator lines look good, the turbo lines over here, your air conditioner lines, your air, air filter indicator, check your air filter boots, Listen for air leaks on this side, check all your electric connections, check for leaks. And now we'll inspect the engine while it's running. Check your transmission fluid, listen to the engine for any squeals from the valve. Since this vehicle has an air system, you want to listen for any air leaks, vacuum leaks, these boots leaking for your turbo, anything that is not normal. Now we're going to do our walk around inspection of our vehicle. The best practice to do on the front would be to open the hood and make to get a better view of everything. First thing you want to check the front of your truck, make sure there's nothing loose that could fall, possibly fall off and hit you. Open the hood, come around to the driver's side, you want to check all your steering components, you want to check all your brake components, you can check your brake drum, you can check it through here. Rim, check your lug nuts, they're all pretty much equally, none of them are loose. Check your tires, they're even wear. The drum has no cracks, the rim has no cracks. Check your tire, make sure it looks like it's inflated properly. Check the pressure on it. Check your suspension parts, your springs, your shackles. Check your brake chamber, your airlines. Make sure the electrical connections that hang down. Make sure nothing has abnormal wear. Check your fender, your fender looks good, your mirrors look good. Your mirrors are not cracked, your mirrors are in good condition, everything's straight. Your door, doors look good, flash tight, handles tight, fuel tank. Make sure your steps are tight, all your stuff's properly fastened. Your, your exhaust fluid tank, it's secured. Battery box, secured, tight. Air tanks below it, look good, tight. Check your frame, look for cracks, anything abnormal. Check, make sure your bolts are tight, bolts to your box are tight. <clears throat> check your rear suspension parts, everything's tight. Check your rear tires, check your rear wheels. None of the wheels look cracked, lug nuts all look good, hub is not leaking oil. Look through there, see your drum, make sure it's not cracked. Listen for air leaks, the whole time you have airlines running through your frame. Listen for them. Check your mud flap. Mud flap is secured tightly. Frame bolts, body bolts, those are all tight. Lift gate components, they're all fastened securely. Lift gate, it's secured. All body panels look nice and tight, nice and straight. Handles good. Hinges are good. Check your latches. Both latches have locks on them. Both latches are secured. Bottom, top. All the lights look in good condition. Check your lift gate. Your lift gate looks good. Your lights look good on your lift gate. No cracks. Check your passenger side of your lift gate. It's all secure. Bolts tight. Check your valves or your, your uh, ports. All that's secured. Your, front, your body bolts. Now on the rear of the vehicle, you have your brake blinker, parking lights. You have five marker lights up top, and you also have one on each side. That one's working. Those five are working. This one is working, and these are all working properly. You probably will have to have somebody help you to check the reverse lights. You want to check your handle, your hinges. All your hinges on this side look good. Your lift gate, bolts tight, welds are not cracked. Pipes, nothing can fall, nothing can break loose. Body bolts are all tight. Everything 
looks good with that. Cross members on your body look good. Mud flap, mud flap's hanging on good, it's secured. Check your tires, uneven wear. Pressure looks good in them. Check your hub, make sure you don't have oil leaking in it, on it. Check your drum, look through your holes, see if you get cracks in them. Check your lug nuts, lug nuts are all tight. All about the same thread, thread sticking out. Check your suspension parts. You know, your suspension parts are tight, look good. Cracks are no cracks visible. Don't hear any air leaks. Don't see any oil leaks on my rear end. The body bolts are tight. Fuel tank looks good. Secured fasten, secured tightly. The hoses all look good from it. All the lines look good. The step is secured. Body bolts are tight, secure. Cross members are secure. Body panels look good. These doors both have latches. Both tight. Both latches top and bottom. Exhaust system. Exhaust is tight. Exhaust is good. Not bent, broke, already fall off. Door. Door looks good. Straight. Mirrors are good. No broken glass. No bent metal. Everything looks good with those. Fender is tight. Mud flap on fender is tight. Steps are tight. Front tire, check your suspension, springs, shock, airline for your air brake chamber, check your brake drums, check your brake linings, check your tires, tire looks good, inflated, wearing evenly, check your rim, check your brake drum cracks, make sure it's not cracked, check your lug nuts, check your thread depth, all your threads look about the same, lug nuts look good, everything looks good, this prayer leaks. You need to check the lights on the truck. You have your blinker parking light, your outside parking light, headlights, your five cab lights, and one marker light on each corner of the bed. You also have a marker light on the back side of the fender. You need to check your high beams, make sure they work. You might have to have somebody help you. And you can check your, your blinker. You have a blinker on your fender. Blinker up here. You have two blinkers, one inside, one outside. Both are working on this side. The fender one is working. Passenger side, they're both working. And the fender one is working. Now, for load securement, you want to make sure whatever you're hauling, whether it be a boiler, jetter truck, or anything, that everything that's in it is properly secured. Everything in a boiler truck should be probably bolted to the floor. And this one looks good. Now we're going to move on to the in cab portion of the vehicle inspection. The first thing you want to look for is the cleanliness of your truck. Make sure there's not clutter, trash, debris, anything laying on the floor that could possibly get underneath the gas or brake belt. Check, make sure all your paperwork is here. Correct. You have spare light bulbs, you have spare fuses. I'm going to check your fire extinguisher in the green. It's got a tag. It's fastened to the floor. Check and make sure your triangles are here. Triangles are in a box in the floor all together. Now that I'm in the cab, we're going to check our instrument cluster, our dash panel. We're going to make sure nothing is cracked. Everything is fully operational. Everything looks in good condition. Turn the key on. Make sure all of our lights light up, make sure our gauges move, make sure everything there looks good. Test our horn, test our air horn. Check our seatbelt, make sure it's not frayed, broke, ripped, torn. Buckle looks good, Let's put it in the buckle. Do that. We'll press on brake, do our one air brake test. Make sure our gauges do not drop. And we'll start the engine. And we'll do our other air brake test. Parking brake set. The vehicle drive. Let off of our brake pedal. The vehicle should not move. That brake, that brake test is fast. Back in neutral. Vehicle off. 